All right. So before we get in, I'm just going to do a disclaimer. Thank you so much, Ricky, for letting me watch this video, not only on Twitch, but also letting me upload the reaction on YouTube. I really appreciate it. I'm still just getting into Warhammer. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, I have read Infinite and the Divine, Brutal Kooning. I read the Siafas Kane books, which is a three in one. And I'm currently playing Rogue Trader and I have played Warhammer Mechanicus. I'm excited. I do want to one day play Dark Crusade. I want to play Inquisitor Martin. I almost said Martin. <laughs> Inquisitor Martin. He's coming. He's coming here, uh, which is kind of like a Diablo-esque game. And um, I also want to play Bolt Gun, obviously, Space Marine. We'll get there. Oh, yeah, it's Caiaphas Kane, but Siafas Kane. Listen, I can't pronounce anything, all right? I, did, I never went to school for English, so I'm doing my best. All right. I also have food with me because I am becoming a real, I'm becoming a real reactor. This is my react era. I've already played Dark Tide, but I will play more Dark Tide. All right, let's go. Tell me how the volume is as we start, okay? Necessarily serve the Omnissiah, but someone who can appreciate them. You will not be getting my legs today, as I'll be replacing them with no. various things depending on which faction no legs. we are currently talking about to add a little bit more context and possibly a little louder to whatever the hell I am currently doing. So, hello everybody, my name is Bricky, and this is going to be a long video and a large project that has been Guys, going on for quite some time. Look at all this those panels. I need two hands for this. This is every single Warhammer louder, louder? race or more in kind of a nutshell explained a little bit of explanation, a little bit of lore, a little Has bit of talking how long about it took tabletop, to mostly lore, what they're all about. And it also probably a little took bit of background weeks, for those of you months. who just have no clue what Warhammer 40,000 is. Now you see Warhammer and Warhammer 40,000 is a mm. universe people hear plenty of, but don't know a whole lot about. My they see, oh, there's these very good. dudes in big power armor with chainsaw swords and they got these big big old green orcs and there's some bugs over there and everyone green calls munch? these guys weebs and oh then there's God, these like spiky spike. bitches over here and I, I don't get it i don't understand where do i those start my people. Well, this video Papa is people. particularly for you or for those of you who have a little bit of knowledge which are kind of curious Nurgle. about each of the different races and factions in warhammer so overall the warhammer universe is vast when it comes to lore and background and each map. different faction is so different with the it. things that they believe hold on, hold on, in and some on. are oh. human Shit. some are transhuman like where they all have all these sorry 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 hmm. we watched the other breaky video and i recognize most of these i only don't know what he's hiding it says he knows something i'm not sure what that is and I don't think I've seen the Chaos Space Marines. But pretty much everything else kind of makes sense. Oh, that's the Inquisition. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, then I know. The then I know. They believe in. And My some bad. are human. Some are uh, transhuman. God, like, I where love. they all have all these crazy ass I love electronics my on them you've got aliens and you've got the I love chaos my factions and I love so Papa much Nurgle. to entail that I decide to embark on this project to yeah, tell you what each and every single one of them is about also spoiler and alert the Warhammer I talk a lot is about as well <laughs> to give at least a little bit of I an talk intro a lot and I might pause a lot extremely bloated but very very enjoyable world that I and many others partake in sorry I'm so sorry. I just want to take a look at this map as well. Wow. So Terra is all the way down there. Okay. Ooh, Kadia. I recognize Kadia. I recognize Kadia. Okay. Do I recognize everything else? I'm not sure I know about Night Furnace. Hmm. No, no, Katie is down. A very, very I don't know what you're talking about. enjoyable world that I and many others partake in. So, I will be explaining every single faction no war in, in Bussing, the Warhammer say. 40k universe, at least all the factions you can play as, and some smaller factions here and there. 
I will not be discussing absolutely everything in it because that is a little bit much. And I'm not going to go too mega deep into the I lore. I think I'm very I'm much. I'm going to give you a pretty solid overview becoming of an each orc of the different believer. factions and have you I want to roll a million dice and, we'll and have a, a good little time. Bit of the I love gambling as well, in case you're curious wrong. about that. But for this episode entirely, we are discussing the Imperium the is of very Man good, by the way. because that takes up a fat chunk of Warhammer lore. Unfortunately. Ooh, bloody What angels. is Warhammer 40,000? Well, the 40,000 starts off is the year 40,000. The 41st millennium, that's where it takes place, is in the year 40,000, 41,000 AD. Where does this map come You're from? Does anybody know? You're more knowledgeable. Let me read you a quote. First of many read, quotes in look this it. video. It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred years, the emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Mm. He is the master of mankind by the will of the gods and oh master God, I think of I'm a million him. worlds by the might of his inexhaustible armies. He is I'm a Ricky. rotting carcass, writhing invisibly with power from the He's dark age on of his technology. Golden toilet. He is the carrion lord of the Imperium, for whom a thousand souls are sacrificed every day so that he may never truly die. To be a man in such times is to be amongst untold billions. It is to live in the cruelest and most bloody regime imaginable. These are the tales say that, of bro. those times. Forget the power of technology and science, for so much has been forgotten, never to be relearned. Forget the promise of progress and understanding, Screw progress. for in the grim, dark future, there is only I war. only want to be there eaten by no a There is no peace amongst the stars, only an eternity of carnage and slaughter and the laughter of thirsting gods. Love it. Everything blows. And it blows fucking hard. <laughs> Warhammer is probably the most dark and depressing universe. I love how ever grainy the fiction. picture is. Or at least like, like top three. Everything is so absurdly wow. horrible, destructive, or overpowered that it all kind of ends up canceling itself out. It's like Dota. War rages across the galaxy. Interstellar travel is only possible due to sacrificing a thousand souls a day mm -hmm. to a rotting carcass of a man who you believe to be your god. Demonic gods and just demons yes. tear open yes. the fabric of reality on a whim. Other Xenos or even other Ooh. humans end up Wait. killing each other in untold what is this exactly? billions across the galaxy. This is the um, it is a time um, of sorry. unending. This was the human legion, the Imperial of Man legion that like is sort of really. I thought it was. It looked like the um, the legion the, of humans that follows um, kind of the Egyptian theme. It looked like that for a second. That's the Eldar. Ooh, when I looked up Eldar, they looked very different. But I guess that's because this is the warlock, right? The armor is too skinny. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I wasn't sure. The telltale sign of Eldar is those oval gems. I'll remember that. Thank you. That's good. And untold and conehead. billions across hey, conehead. the galaxy. It is a time hey, of unending like war, slaughter, and a bloodbath amongst everybody. Mm -hmm. Planets are deemed unrecoverable and are completely destroyed on a whim. Everything sucks, but that's like the charm of it. See, everything yeah. in Warhammer is evil, but being evil is kind of fun. Like yeah. humanity in its own right is a xenophobic, prejudiced, and religious zealot group that kill each other just as much as they kill all of their enemies. But, and they're like so mid, mid to high tier evil on Evil scale, Tau players, Imperial of Man. Why would you put the orcs so high up on evil? Come on. That being said, I do think the Tyranids, they're just doing their best. They're just hungry. They're just trying to survive, okay? On the evil scale of Warhammer, Leave them alone. nobody is good. No matter who you are, everyone is at some flavor, some color of evil. Whoever you pick, you are going to be the bad guy. They just want to eat. But They're that's hungry. the fun of it. Because being the bad guy is badass. Villains are cool. They look cool. They got cool outfits. They got cool weapons. They got cool Is that the Blood Angel as well? Or no? Because it kind of has the angelic theming. That's Lord Solar Macarius. Looks like a living saint. Space Alexander, Imperial Guard. Okay. 
Cool. I haven't seen him yet at all. That's a saint. I mean, hey. I love it. I will cool be pausing armies. a lot, by Villains the way. Villains are cool, man. Just warning you. And when everyone is a villain, everyone is pretty cool. That's what makes this so charming, is that everyone can be the bad guy. It was a big deal at some point. Guy. Is he a big so deal in any of the books? let's start off talking about the main bad guy, quote unquote. Because I'd love to read about Imperium him. The Imperium of Man. His hair, whack. His gear, whack. The Imperium of Man is the main empire of the human race. All of humanity is under Thank this you. one flag have to read called it. the Imperium. And about 10,000 years ago, there was a man. He was the emperor, the emperor of mankind, a 10-foot-tall psychic there he is. demigod. There he is. Who led humanity Mr. across man. the stars to colonize tons and tons of worlds, oh, create seven. superhuman soldiers, and oh, really bring everybody. humanity into a new age. This man, man, the emperor of mankind, was a psyker. And a psyker is like a magician of sorts. In the world of 40K, there is the warp, the immaterium, mm -hmm. kind of like hell, but sort of like a purgatory dimension of hell. And a psyker is someone who can take that power and manifest it through their mind to use it to do stuff. Well, like witchcraft stuff, magician stuff, spells, and lots of other things, but we don't want to get too into that. The I'm recognizing emperor, the staff boy, from psyker, um, top Rogue tier, Trader. A That's plus, so cool. Maybe even S. Now, the emperor created a bunch of this sons. This I remember. Yes, we, we looked at them. A bunch mm -hmm. of sons known as the Primarchs. He created 20, uh, uh, 18, 18, 18 <laughs> Primarchs to have them lead all of the different legions of humanity to the different stars and plants to help colonize and bring it out. These Primarchs Aww. are basically like little versions of the Emperor. Not all of them are psychers, but a lot of them are very, very powerful, mm -hmm. and they lead his special Space Marine legions. Then this big clusterfuck happened uh -huh. called the Horus Heresy, where the Emperor's favorite son, the, the Primarch, or so Horus, books. ended up joining Chaos and leading nine other, well, I guess eight, Wait. nine of the 18. Hold on. Half. Small, small caveat. I thought Horus killed the Emperor's favorite son. But Horus was the Emperor's favorite son, which is even more. Mm. The ninth, uh, the Blood Angel's son, he was, I thought he was the favorite. Okay, so he killed the second favorite. Oh, one second. One second. I think I just lagged. Hello? Uh-oh. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Uh oh. I disappeared from the screen. I'm dead. This is it. Oh, I see. I see. So the one that he killed was the one beloved by all. Okay. But the one that killed him was the favorite one. Okay. I thought I, I, w I was misunderstanding. Okay, cool. Half of his Primarchs directly to Earth to fight down the It's Emperor like Daddy's himself. favorite versus now, the people's chaos favorite. Is, remember what I mentioned earlier? The warp, that immaterium, the hellish place? In there relies they were the four best chaos friends. gods. Oh. Imagine like Papa Satan Nurgle. and three other My Satans. Favorite. The warp being kind of evil, those chaos gods, that's the reason. And so those chaos gods manipulated <laughs> I love how Horus. This is. And then Horus <laughs> helped manipulate all eight other Primarchs I love to lead how this giant coup directly no. on the Emperor on Earth. And they are the uh, are the uh, white scars the, the, After the this huge civil war the bad guys Horus died but not before brutally no, wounding the emperor and right at the end of his life oh they're they put loyal the okay, emperor thank god. on this thank large god. golden throne on earth in sad. which he is now alive just barely but slowly rotting away powering some my sweet the loyalists Astronomicon, so long as he stays alive and is fed a thousand people a day. The Astronomicon is like the North I like Star. If you want to do interstellar travel in 40k, you need to pass through that demonic warp I, I mentioned like his legs earlier. Again. But how do you know where you're going? Well, the Emperor is there putting a nice little navigator right there. He helps navigate you to know where you're going. If you want to go from Earth to some crazy solar system I really system want to find way, out more about how go through that warp, the lighthouse and then you works need to know where you're way. going. Go through there and pop your way out. It's like and somebody uh, did say that there's theories in, in Minecraft, so that that's why the Tyranids the came going to areas. because so of that signal. The emperor is alive, but then and other people said that Tyranids were already kind of, stay alive, you know, peeking you their head here and there. The moment he dies, interstellar travel's gone for all of humanity.
You're so it's not wrong. a theory. It's now, confirmed. since the Horus Heresy 10,000 years then the question ago, is, the are they coming to take over or are they running away? All technology has started to dwindle and die. There is now giant fundamental religious extremists that now believe the Emperor of Mankind was a deity. A true Was this a living, sister of battle? The Emperor of or a gray knight based on her armor. I mean, oh no, I see the fleur de lis. She's a sister of battle. Okay. Time was a deity. Because of the, a true the, the French. Living God. Not the French. Which is but probably the, the last the thing the emperor would there have are wanted no to be. Okay, so if it's a for. woman. So now you have this thing called the Ecclesiarchy, cool. which is this giant church entirely devoted to spreading the good word of the emperor. He is now the holy emperor god, the god emperor of mankind. And that all of the Imperium has taken up worshiping him to the fullest extent and killing anything that isn't humanity in his name. The Imperium has this futuristic gothic tone to it and a hefty religious Ooh, zealotry. Ooh, Valis, that's scary. If you think anything against the Emperor, that's heresy and you deserve to die. That is called being a heretic. Women are in every Heretics faction besides Space Marine and Custodian. There is no such okay. thing as freedom of religion. There is no such thing as freedom of speech. Oh so long as you are against the Emperor. There is no such thing as any kind of tolerance. Everyone is a religious zealot. Some more than others. But no matter what, you're preaching that good word. So right now, everyone in humanity is trying to expand their empire across yeah the stars. that makes sense if you are a heretic someone who doesn't believe in the emperor you are deserving of death the guillotine if you believe in the chaos gods you the are guillotine. also a heretic and you deserve death if you are an alien race whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. Kind, you are a filthy whoa, stop Zenos stop stop right there death as well stop so long Don't. as the murder no, 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 continues no. and humanity expands no 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 no, no. The okay of man is very the bug very thing happy. listen However, just the bug. largest fighting force of this Imperium bug. is my personal favorite faction, and the first faction we will discuss, the Astra Militarum, or also known as the Imperial Guard. His favorite faction? Wait. Stop, 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 stop. Out of all the factions, his favorite faction is the Guards. You're telling me you came to 40,000 years after i guess christ i don't know and you like the dudes with guns i know he'll explain why but i'm just letting you know i'm already listen listen give me bugs give me orgs give me papa nurgle the Imperial Guard is the main fighting force of the Imperium, and in a world of horrifying creatures, he just galactic liked the monstrosities, guys. the literal demons themselves. Video is old. He's changed. What is he like now? Time to kill you. The Imperial Guard are untold billions of regular men and women wearing modern day like flak armor with a laser rifle. This is the humble <laughs> las gun. Yeah, you just like the guy with the, the, with the gun. <laughs> It fires He's super a sister's main now. Good. Lasers at an extremely fast He's, fire he, rate. He is recognized reliable, that he simps jams. for women. It can blow off limbs, giant You did see the last gun concrete. in um, It is overall. I don't know if it was in Mechanicus, but we definitely saw weapon. it in Rogue Trader. In modern day, it is one of the weakest in the 40k universe. Yeah, a, a laser rifle that never jams. It could blow off limbs. Yeah, one of the weakest yeah, weapons. Yeah. But I guess it. I'm glad he's right aware. Now. But who cares? Because the Imperial Guard has, in each battle, 500,000 Basically put a sister of, of battle on his women. gamer subs cup. 30,000 hey, I mean, large good luck with tanks, the lawsuit. 10,000 <laughs> artillery batteries. The Imperial Guard wins through sheer numbers and firepower. They kind of have this World War I, World War II style aesthetic with legions of guardsmen as well as high company commanders and generals on the field along with them okay. and multiple kinds of troops. Legally a normal distinct. Imperial yeah, Guard okay, battle okay. starts off with artillery, long lines of artillery See, this, cracking the crust this I can of get the behind. planet Adeptus underneath Mechanicus, the enemy's I can feet. Get behind. And as this barrage continues, with little hundreds of thousands of guardsmen see a sea of guardsmen surges forward, firing and charging at everything possible while the planet rumbles as tanks roll up behind them. Gunships block out the sun and tanks block out the dirt with the steps of That's an emperor worshiper? Oh, I thought he was in the red robes like uh, numbers and sheer oops. 
sundering firepower. They are the first is just and gear. last right. line of defense for the Imperium and make up a huge bulk of the battles. The Imperial Guard is also made up of oh my tons God, not the bayonet. Of regiments. This the is Kachin very World War One. Fighters live what? in a death world that it's more hospitable than almost any this fire like... fight they'll ever get <laughs> into. So they just have this steroid-looking <laughs> giant knife Rambo predator. Yeah, I was gonna say this is Rambo. Where nothing is anywhere near as scary as a simple knight on their That's home planet. So funny. You have the Valhallen Winter Soldiers who haven't felt their toes in 300 years. The Mordian Iron Guard. Okay, this is who are very more like interested French. In making their shoes shine than actually fighting a battle. And then, of course, the big one, the Cadians from Cadia. <laughs> what? What is that, everybody? The biggest Cadia, export Cadia of guardsmen is in standing? the entirety of the <laughs> Imperium. You will fire your first gun at five. It stands, you will disassemble it? and reassemble it at ten. You will have pounding artillery drills day in and day out at fifteen, and you'll fight your first swarm lord at sixteen. Ooh, and ooh. if you mention Cadia, you will burst into an unrelenting amount of tears and sadness, like I do daily. To quote, I have at my command an entire battle group of the Imperial Guard. 50 regiments, including specialized drop troops, stealthers, mechanized formations, armored companies, combat engineers, and mobile artillery. Okay. Over half a million fighting men and 30,000 oh tanks and artillery pieces are mine to command. Emperor, show mercy to the fool that Leave stands for the against rest of me, us. for I shall not. The Imperial Guard are my personal favorite faction in 40k. They're the army I collect the most, the ones I enjoy playing the most, and the one I enjoy I'm not in the judging, war sense a lot. There's something about just a regular man with a laser rifle being told to charge the horrors of this universe and willingly doing so for Look, his Look, there's God a reason Emperor. I'm a space it's just bug, right? Poetic. They actually Agree to disagree. The main Imperial Guard tactics pretty Agree well. Large disagree. amounts of artillery that doesn't require a line of sight, lots of tanks, tons of infantry, drop troops, and gunships. Overall, they're pretty similar to how they sound, uh, though a little bit expensive to collect, unfortunately. And they don't hit a lot. They look so They have so a bit goofy. of a bad aim, them. but you don't really care because you're just drowning them in shots. However, if you want more accurate fire and specialization, we can move on to talk about Space Marines. The Angels of Death. I completely are up next. understand. Space By the way, Mar just so we're clear, I completely understand why people like them. I'm mostly making a joke because I like something completely different. I'm coming to 40K for the Necrons. I mean, our first book on Book Club is the Necron book, our second book is an Orc book. I love the Tyranids. I'm loving Papa Nurgle. I come to space, you know, not, not, not to, <laughs> how dare I have a different taste than the streamer? <laughs> how dare I like different things? I'm a filthy Xenos lover. I am. Hell yeah. Marines are genetically engineered super soldiers and superhumans. They're given extra organs, their skin tissue is toughened, their bones are stronger, they're taller than the average person. They're pretty massive people. Heretic? And these are the specialized I am what super I am. soldiers that carry out a lot of the more specific tasks for the Imperium. And How good is the Space Marine 1 game, by them. the way? In fact, there's one per Primarch. Each Ooh, nice. Primarch, the Emperor's son, as I mentioned before, oversees their legion of space marines. The genetic upgrade they like get I is based on the, the blue gene. One. I always see the blue one. I feel like every time you see space marines, it's their usually the, space the blue one, right? The, oh, I missed it. The I'm genetic fine. upgrade they get is based on the genes of said Primarch. It's something called a mm. gene seed. That's what brings them up to this like superhuman level. As stated, each Primarch has their own legion. A uh, so, robot girly man has the ultra. Every legion is tied to every Primarch with the coloring, but also they have the gene of their Primarch. So if you think about it, they're distantly related to the Emperor, right? They're distantly re related to the Emperor because the Emperor fathered those guys and then these guys get fathered. So they're like the grandsons of the Emperor. Cool, I love it. That that's why they're his angels. Marines. I like it. Jagatai Khan has yes. the white scars. A Robel Dorn has the Imperial Fist. White scars. Corvus Corax has the Raven Guard. There's okay. a whole bunch of other. I'm not gonna lie. The Raven Guard looks great. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like Legion Thirteen is always what I see. I always see that in promotional material. It's always like they're blue. Um. 
cool. Looks awesome. Side sections Can't complain. that are also extremely interesting and have a little bit more of a twist on the average Space Marines, which we will discuss in a bit. Humorously it's enough, I don't have a whole lot to say about Space Marines. They're superhumanly fast. In, in fact, it's been said that nothing that large should move that quick. These men in power armor are moving at blazing fast speeds. They're reflexes Ultra Smurfs are, faster, are the poster boys for the whole tougher. universe. They yeah, are I feel like I always see them. I didn't realize soldiers. there was different in ones. In fact, where they differ now. comes down to which Space Marine Legion we're talking about. Yeah. For instance, the Ultramarines done by Robot Girlman, Gilliman, 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 Gilliman ugh, are the you main blue boys. Strong in yep. almost every way. The jack of all yep. trades kind of group that are a little bit too strong, and that's a lore problem, but. Uh, you know why I also wonder? I wonder, okay, this is me like big braining it. Um, but with Pokemon, they had like Pokemon Green, and then they changed it to red and blue because they used to think that like green was kind of too girly of a color to sell in. America. So I wonder if that's why they're all so blue because it's like, you know, it's, it's a the it's boyish color. Imagine if they were pink, right? If all of them had pink armor, it would be kind of a bigger step to get into it. Nowadays, branding is done very differently. Just so we're clear, branding is done very differently. But back when I used to get into gaming and things like that, things were kind of advertised a little bit different. There are pink marines but they're not the poster boys, right? I just wonder, imagine in the 90s if this game came out, when this came out, right, in the 1900s, if they had just pink space marines, it would have been a lot harder to get in. Nowadays, different. Listen, nowadays, different. But you have to remember, like, this was coming out in the 1900s, right? It would not work back then. Back then, if you had a bunch of these, like, big boys in pink armor, it wasn't going to work. Nowadays, easy. Easy, easy, it works. The white scars by Jagatai Khan are all of about course speed, marines freaks, exist. Go Nowadays, fast, of course, everything. Bikes. I mean, the Tyranids are pink, land right? speeders, you want to go in quick, you want to hit them hard, you but, want them to be swarming uh, around like I just feel like, like it would have been flies, harder to market buzz, buzz in the 1900s if they had them the be, if they had their main sauce. guys be pink. Just so we're clear, did I explain that properly? God, oh, I love the white scars so much. I'm sorry, look at them. They're on a bike with machine guns. And sometimes you see photos of them. They're on a bike with machine guns with a sword. <laughs> Eat of buzz saws. I love it. Um, it's you, not pink, Makara. Salamanders it's salmon. love fire. Fire in the forge, fire in battle. Flamers, melt a Y'all like the salamanders. Just so long as something can be burning, that's big. And they're also actually some of the nicest of the space marines. A lot of space yeah, marines. Yeah, we talked about that last time. You all thing like because them because they're, they're the good strength. guys. However, the salamanders tend to put human lives above the lives of themselves, which is actually rather rare. They're also all black, but not like just regular black, like, like 2 a.m. line at a white castle black. Like they have a charcoal dark ashy exterior and blazing red eyes they look great apparently something about living on their home planet of nocturne which i don't they know look if that awesome. makes much sense but who cares this is like fantasy land anyway overall salamanders are actually one of my personal favorite legions because they're just really cool they're fun to Blue play the as all their paint. Flavor it's also weapons, visible to those who are colorblind nice, like super more smart heartwarming lore as super opposed smart of to them. being super evil they did it like smart. everyone else is. Oh my god, we're not even a quarter of the way through the Space Marine Legions. Yay! Uh, Imperial Fists believe in the power of the siege, uh, and defensive <laughs> positions, uh, Raven Hold guards. on, hold on, the little flying baby! Uh, Imperial <laughs> This little flying baby gives me absolute Darkest Dungeon 2 vibes. Look at the little flying baby, tag yourself, that's me. <laughs> what are the cherubs exactly? Because I know what the servo skull is, right? I know what the servo skull is because I played um, Mechanicus. So the cherubs are a robot baby giving out orders. It's a servitor. They lobotomize the baby. Oh my God. This world is very punk rock. What the heck? Cloned lobotomized defective baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Supposedly, they retconned them to be totally artificial. I mean, I get it, right? But also, why the stylistic choice of a cherub baby? Hey. 
fists, believe in the power they of the cool siege, though, and defense right? positions. Uh, Raven guards, master of stealth and sabotage while having bird helmets. Iron hands, masters of machines and vehicles while being really goddamn good at being sold on eBay after one nerf. Space wolves, uh, Vikings and wolves and tons of wolves and, and axes, battle axes, fur There's everywhere. Space and wolves, a lion so legion. Angry, big team. All the animals. Uh, Blood Angels, the genetic defect to make them want to drink blood and go crazy Yummy. called the Red Thirst. They have Cupid wings and stuff, which is a little bit strange, and they are all super gay for Sanguinius. I mean, Dark Angels look at him. are old school knights. Wait, he, he's the one that died, though. They are so. all super gay. For I mean, look at him. Do you blame him? For Sanguinius. Dark Angels are old school <laughs> knights and inner circle theme. And Type of one if you two are gay for Sanguinius. Are you a heretic? Me? No, never. Oh, it's what? just one lion. Oh. Death Watch, a uh, fancy pantsy well, anti Xenos group that nobody plays because Death Watch and they look cool though, but no one, no one plays them. I don't know about Aww. Death Watch. They're, they're, they're there though. Black Templars for the people who, if you haven't prayed at least three times a day, you're gonna start praying out that airlock. Oh my god, this I'm is sure just this is like Kenshi. I may with have the prayers. missed as well, like Crimson Fists and stuff. But those are the main ones right here. Here, here. Quote from the Emperor himself. They shall be my finest You play warriors. Death Watch? These men who nice. give of themselves to Who else to here me. plays Death like Watch? Clay, Talk to me. I shall mold them, and in the furnace of war, I shall forge them. They shall be of iron will and steely sinew. In great armor, I shall clad them, and with the mightiest weapons shall Your they be Your brother armed. does? They you? will be okay. untouched by people. plague or disease. No sickness shall blight them. Very few they people, but you're there. You exist. Strategies and machines that no foe will best them in battle. They are my bulwark against the terror. They are my defenders of humanity. They are my space marines. I'm the one And talking. they shall know no fear. And on the tabletop, they fuck. Oh, they fuck hard. As of making this video, Space Marines they are do laughably look strong. Really that cool. might change at some point. Wow. But overall, Space Marines just have the, uh, it's like a they Swiss look Army knife, a tool for anything you need, except it's like a gold-plated Swiss Army knife. It is extremely strong. If you are actually getting into the tabletop of Warhammer, Space Marines are a great start. Also, okay. whatever gameplay style you have, whether you want to be sit back with long range and heavy weaponry, go fast and run in, or even just full melee, all of these options are totally there for you. Space Marines are super badass, but unfortunately, has a custom it's time we army? start that praying fun. to our new god, the 2011 Honda Civic. So is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! I love, The Adeptus love them. Mechanicus. The Adeptus Mechanicus are a technophile cult on Mars. Now, and these people here. are a little bit weird because they don't actually bit. really believe in the Emperor of Mankind. And you might think, oh, whoa, a little whoa, bit. whoa, whoa, Berkey, that sounds like some heresy. A little bit. They believe in the Emperor. They believe in his power. But they don't pray to him. They pray to something called the Omnissiah. And the Omnissiah the is this kind of machine god that they believe permeates in all machines. I and if you think, well, wait a minute, flesh. they believe in a different god as well? That sounds like super mm. heresy. Well, yes-ish, but they also make all your guns. Yep. And they make all your tanks. So we're nice to them. And they make everything that you have. Wait, so they, okay. Is it a spoiler really if you tell me about them worshiping the Necron God? You're not I'm curious about it. If you don't but I'm also playing Mechanicus. People with. See, their Omnissiah at least makes sense from their standpoint. They believe it to be a deity that permeates through all machines. Your Honda Civic. It's kind of spoilery. Okay, then never mind, never mind. Your Let's wait for Dune it. Dune Strider Walker. Your giant It's not X, canon. Your okay. huge ships. The Omnissiah is confirmed. present okay. through all. And the only reason your stuff works. Oh my god, the music. The We're getting the, the Mechanicus music. <laughs> says it works. If you want your gun to work, your tank to run, the Mechanicus music! And I mean full stop. You need to start chanting in high ah, gothic. So good. You need to burn incense. You need to sit on your I knees. I love the way they look. They look incredible. That car. The axe, the axe that the tree uses robes, in Mechanicus. Go, oh, mana, oh, mana, oh, mana, oh, mana, oh, mana, oh, mana. Full stop. If you want your damn thing to work, if you want your gun to fire, you need to do that. They are very bizarre. And they I love actually them. have a bit of a point because it's obviously working. And if you look at them, I don't know how that works. 
so they obviously know something about what they're doing. The most notable yep. member of the Adidas Mechanicus is Arch Magos, Magos, whatever, Belisarius Call. Look at, this, look at this dude. Look at this dude. I'm looking. Yeah. That, this is the group we're talking about. These are these weirdos. I'm looking. Here. The Omniscient Creed. The, the, the Credo, Credo, mm -hmm. Omniscient. There is no truth in flesh, only betrayal. There is no strength in flesh, only weakness. There is no constancy in flesh, only decay. There is no certainty in flesh, but death. Flesh is weakness. Meanwhile, me, flesh a full death. organic. Omnissiah uh, <laughs> is the god of the machines. And if you Zen wish versus to be me. Whole, if you wish to be holy, if you wish to give unto him, it's, it's you must saw down Necron. your mm -hmm. limbs and remove your organs and replace them with mechanical parts mm -hmm. because that is what he wants and that is how you will become enlightened. Hard technophiles mixed with religious extremism. I love it. That is Mechanicus. Now, for their army side of things, they are with the Skatari. The Skatari operate with very bizarre weaponry and lots of different kinds I of I know about them because of the game. People. Yay! They're very weird, uh, but they have extremely wacky and, and enjoyable and, in fact, quite effective both in the real mm -hmm. game mm -hmm. and in the lore weaponry and gear. Are they going to show the big tank as an guy army on the tabletop, that I just they're unlocked? They're very weird and have a whole bunch of different shenanigans. But if you like kind of that quirky, wacky techno thing, I'd give them a pickup. Yeah. Hell. They're so paranoid. I, I gotta keep going. They're so paranoid and crazy. These Dune Striders you see right here, one guy was able to make them work. One guy. Is that what they are? The pastel and robots? So scared, I just had unlocked them and then I, they keep you know, them on and you they keep, never keep turn going. them off and they run around in a circle the whole time until they need them and then they corral it and they go to <laughs> battle. Yep. I like it. The Adeptus Mechanicus. Now, if you wanna talk about faith though, ho, oh, oh. ho. Let's talk about the Sisters of Battle. A simp has fallen for an eagle in Lego City. Argenta, the my Sisters beloved. The Sisters of Battle of the Adeptus Sororitas, if that's how Adepta. I pronounce it correctly. Okay, I see, I see. an all-female group of battle oh, yeah. sisters going No men at arms allowed, only women at arms. ...of the Imperium. The Ecclesiarchy Nuns is, with of course, guns. the church. <laughs> this is, imagine a private army of the church. I might actually Which get into them because scary. women. And it is. The sisters are an extremely zealous force. Thank you for the bit, by the way, professional. Full extreme. They believe in three main things. Faith, oh, wow. Martyrdom, and fire. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wow. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks cool. I love how they still have like some augment. Like it looks like she kind of has like, I know it's not the robotic arm of the Adeptus, but it kind of looks like it. She has the wow. And they're all in red. And the birds with, wow, this is great. Through the Bolter, mm -hmm. the Flamer, and the Melta, the Sisters of Battle are extremely potent at taking out- Oh, the eye for the Inquisition, heretics. I get it. Mainly heretics, because <clears throat> as they are a fighting section of the Ecclesiarchy Love Church, it. that's they the big so thing good. they to kill. Any form of heretic will face the Emperor's justice through those three main weapons, the Bolter, so the you're Flamer, me, and the Melta. God's army is just they will sexy so girls. With extreme I love it. prejudice, literally. They are the closest things we have to nuns in space. And I'm talking hardcore nuns. Hell they carry yeah. holy fire on their backs. They have holy like books and Imagine sigils going into battle with like their the Olympic their torch. Their main <laughs> battle tank is a fucking pipe organ missile launcher. That is they cool. Have Small babies that they have a little like less cool. removed their brain capacity a, a little to less make cool. them little servant cherubs kind of cool fly though. around and give them ammunition and shit. Kind of cool though, they but I don't know. Is it bad? Am I going to get canceled? From low orbit. If I say kind of cool. As many drop pods onto battles, they drop churches <laughs> that is into battles <laughs> and they blare war hymns and holy music that is from cool. their frigates in low atmosphere and shower holy water across the battlefield. That is cool. These are the people you are dealing with and they're fucking awesome. They can literally stave off demons. Hell yeah. On the tabletop because their faith is that strong. Remember the warp, the demons from the warp? Well, the warp also manifests in your mind. 
all of your Ooh. emotions, negative and positive, go through the warp. It's the mm -hmm. immaterium, mm -hmm. the place of all things. So if you are that mentally There's a group that takes a coffin that for them to mentally battle. mentally strong. That's insane. You can stave off horrifying demons. They have weaponized religious care and energy. I love that for them. Crack. They are the girl not bosses. Crack in that mental armor. Now, as much I as a it. meme as they are, and <laughs> as much as their models look a lot like Ongo, Ongo Gabloglian, yeah, which I can't unsee anymore. I gotta say, I love their design. They look awesome. I think they're extremely Oh, yeah, I see what you mean about the hair. <laughs> oh, no, the hair. Oh, no, that's actually so unfortunate, the hair. Oh, I see exactly what you mean. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, why do they all have the hair? No. <laughs> the hair <laughs> cool they're another army that i'm currently collecting wow not gonna lie this looks amazing i need this tank just because i need it with the baby on it wow how much y'all think this tank is like 400 300 collecting they just released a whole new line of figures very recently wow and they look wonderful Everything from Celestine, the living, literally undying oh, saint from the triumph of St. Catherine. Not, not to brag, but I do have access to unlimited money. I do have access to the Momokane. Just literally a funeral limited procession. Money. Okay, the little model. heart. This the is, I'm sorry. This is so, I know some of you might fight me on this, but this is very Hello Kitty girly pop, okay? Look. It's got a heart. It's got babies. St. Catherine, which is literally a it. funeral procession as a model. I will ask Those for a loan from the Bank I of Momo. Earlier. This shit is the most over-the-top badassery I love in it. a lot of the Warhammer universe. And goddamn it, is it over-the-top. But Sisters of Battle Hello are Kitty so cool. Cherub incoming. While a guardsman it's at happening. heart. Oh, this is such a The tank cool is called The Exorcist. Action. By Thank Bolter you. Shell. Flamer I will burst check it out. Melta Blast, the mutant, the heretic, oh, I love it. and the I love traitor it. alike are cleansed of their sin of existence. So it has been for five millennia, so shall it be until the end of time. And speaking uh -oh. of burning demons. I, I can see! I can fight! The Grey Knights are the first army I actually collected back in 7th edition. Okay. Grey Knights are a super secretive and Can you post much a link? more old no. school look at power <laughs> armored knights. Except you asked, they I are answered. all psychers. All of them have that crazy space okay, magic Okay, so that's why they're shit. so strong. For every 100,000 I was wondering why. there's one Grey Knight. For every 10,000 yeah, 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 sisters why. of battle, so it's an elite there's army. one Grey Knight. For every 1,000 space marines, there's one Grey Knight. Grey Knights are the strongest of the strong, both in mental will mm -hmm. and absolute just strength. These are space marines that are all She did. Zen did say that these are her psychers, favorites. All of them able to specifically do one goal, and that is kill demons. The Emperor believed that the demons of chaos were the number one threat to the Imperium. And Their Primarch is, is the Emperor. However, Oof. this group is entirely based on doing that through a myriad of tactics. That's pretty badass. Coming from the planet, or I guess the moon of Titan in the soul system, the Grey Knights are thrown through extremely mm, rigorous training. That's why I've heard about Titan before. And are as clear of mind and soul as they possibly can be. Since the demons of the warp are the warp and your mind projects to the warp, people can go insane very fast, especially lower level psychers. These Grey Knights need to be able to harness the warp in the presence of demons, they were and stay made during heresy. Same. The Horus one of the heresy. Characters, one of my favorite characters is named Castellan Crow. Mm. He has a demon blade, the black blade. I have of to look Mahama him up. A little and bit he more. He has to have it on him because it tempts everyone nearby, oh. constantly Ooh. beckoning them. So you're telling me power, he's using a demon artifact my strength, to fight? Suck my penis, what? whatever the possibility, and so he has to keep it on uh. him all the time. As this uh, thing whispers to him consistently, and he has to. Is it really it whispering to him, "Suck my penis"? Alone in his chambers, or on the battlefield, because anyone who gets too close to it might be tempted <laughs> a little too hard. He is that 
pure of heart and mind, and all the characters in the Knights <laughs> are basically like that. The only issue is that it's a um, Slanesh blade. Grey yeah, Knights okay, it definitely Earth does. Policy. You know, it definitely does one. whisper those things. If they're fighting demons, demons corrupt and make people crazy. So if I'm a guardsman and I'm yep. fighting demons and the Grey Knights arrive and they kill all the demons, I'm a risk. And so guess who's not making it out of there? <laughs> On the tabletop, they're very strike fast, strike hard kind of mm. people. They teleport all around the place. Look they at are with fast strike hammer. groups. Small amounts of models because they they're great. so dang strong. You only have they so many awesome. characters. But with it, you get in there. You're very tough, very tanky. You they hit kill really everyone, hard, even civilians. You try to bounce around the battlefield Listen. quickly. But you don't have numbers. And all so is fair in love and war. Every dead night <gasps> hits really damn Ooh, hard. The head. Fun, though, is that a that Harlequin kinda... head or is that an Aldari head? Is that a dark Eldar, Eldar, or a Harlequin? What is that exactly that he's holding? It's a demon head. It's a Slanesh demon. Okay. And they're called a demonette when it's a Slanesh demon? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, fast strike. I haven't seen that before. Oh, and also, uh, Kaldor Drago. I don't think I've seen a lot or of Slanesh's demons, to, to be Kaldor honest. Drago. All right. That is, uh, oh my goodness gracious. I am the hammer. I am the male about his fist. I am the spear in his hand. Demonettes are one of the many Slanesh demons. I am the shield on his arm. I am very the flight cute. of very his arrows. Very girly pop, exactly. I'll hammer. have to check I them out. I am the sword. <laughs> I am the shield. I am a Listen. soldier at the battle at the end. I like of pink time. and purple. Soon. Grey Knights are pretty hardcore. I also like they red and They are as blue. holy as you can get for a Space Marine. If you like Space Marines and you want to, you know, that they're holy enough, you want to be holier? Grey Knights. Now, if you want to be holier and big. Let's talk Imperial Knights. Ooh. Do you like gigantic oh my walkers God. the size of homes or medium-sized buildings? Do you want to kill heretics, but you want to kill like 40 of them per turn? Do you want a gigantic old this is school wild. Knight noble house your style of walkers with I giant oh. chainsaw arms? Oh then you got Imperial Knights. Imperial Knights, dropped. it's not a whole lot to talk about them because they're just gigantic walkers, but they have Sorry this for old that. school, like, house feel to them. Like, literally, like, they're houses. Each Imperial Knight comes from Houses? House, they're more like each hotels. Of them act in their own special they're way. They're more like These giant moving hotels. Walkers also destroy almost everything in their path, killing full <laughs> swaths of squads in a couple You didn't shots, know they were a separate faction? Well, you're welcome. Like, these things do not mess around. And they look so cool. Imperial Ricky, Knights I'm sorry and I Chaos Knights, sometimes. actually, for that matter, don't have a whole lot to discuss. They're just super <gasps> big, heavy walkers, and they look different. Look at him just house staring down God the demon. Believe in. Hey, demons, and overall, it's me. these things are just really cool if you your want to boy. murder everything in your path. They're the big, scary, big unit of Warhammer, and if you want to collect them, go to town. They make for a great painting project, too. So yeah, they, I want to see how big they are on the table. Bit, uh, a little bit different, a little more gold ah there we go if the guardsmen are regular soldiers space marines are super these soldiers. are the ones that also don't Grey have Knights girls are right super super soldiers the adeptus custodes are super soldiers cubed the adeptus custodes are the super, third super, super, major super army i own I, I know three armies i know i i, I got carried away okay but that, that's all i only have three okay it's, they have girls? I thought somebody Ugh. says that the custodies don't they have girls. They are our final brand of space marines, but these ones are super special. Okay? Really? If a guardsman super, is six foot, special. a space marine is seven feet, a custodian is eight feet. These are oh. the giant defenders of holy Terra, which is also Earth. Earth is Terra. Earth, Terra themselves these are the people that literally guard the emperor's throne room okay so it's they're custodies i get it these I get boys it. protect mm -hmm. the emperor's throne room at all times i love and are their literally like handcrafted helmet. people they're not humans brought up by a gene seer or something these are all handcrafted super soldiers interesting i think from a tube oh this these is henry cavill's army of men are like eight feet eight and a half feet tall and functionally immortal they stand still Spear in hand for hundreds of years without the need to sleep and barely Listen, even the need Cavill. to eat. Watching over the throne but room and every other area really? of Holy Terror. Your favorite faction is the ones guarding the Emperor? I, I can and see that. Oh my lord. 
are they terrifying? I could see these that. These custodians put Space Marines to shame. I just, I, I guess like I would have just loved him more if he liked the orcs soldiers. or the Tyranids. these but, men can take you know, on probably three Space Marines. My love should not be conditional on your favorite Warhammer faction. As well, like the Solar Watch, or there's also one of my I personal just, favorite, the Aquilan Shield. Yeah, I'm not the surprised that he likes them. The Aquilan Shield go out to seemingly them. unimportant individuals <laughs> and protect them because they I'm believe that they are going to be doing something very important in their lives. For instance, say a regular guardsman is the protection of this giant eight and a half foot tall golden god because that guardsman will end up becoming they a general they stood posing one day naked like after that. the emperor the fell okay work in i like him now ways that's badass always outnumbered but never outmatched he plays These blood angels okay the blood angels do look horrifying. really crazy Both maybe he just really likes black uh, maybe he just well likes gold and red there are very I don't few blame of them him. however and there's actually an extremely small amount of them but that's kind of the point there's only so many of these people that can have war Toxic. here this I don't see strong. why not. Weapons, it's already very close to the original colors. Good. And the custodians mm -hmm. have all three of it. For 100 years, I stood my watch amidst the somber shadows of the Sanctum Honestly, Imperialis. I was maybe still he just as a really statue, likes golden always ready. and red. Always I don't blame him. It looks great. Unseen. Days, months, years passed by in a frenzy. Do we know when Henry Cavill's 40K show is coming out, by the way? and nothing changed. For 100 years, I did not but wait. Yet had any threat appeared, I would have struck it down in a heartbeat. For 100 years, I stood my watch. 2026, probably to be years off. Ends, I can tell okay. you this, patience is a weapon. The custodians are I think if, the top dogs. That's the lion guy. The Imperium, that's the one lion guy. Is that not? That same way. Though I do want something to discuss a little bit lion about Lion L. Joseph. Before we get out of here. Because the Sisters or is it of another? I also have a few of. You all lied to me. You told me there's one lion guy. You told me there's only one lion guy. Okay? But clearly there's two lion guys, so you lied to me. There's two lion guys, clearly. This guy also has a lion. I just think, I just, listen, come on. You can't be using lions for decoration when that man, I'm just they saying, hurt just you all lied to me. You said there was only one. I do want to discuss a little bit about the Sisters of Silence okay. before we, there we get go. out of here. There they the are. Sisters of Silence, I also have a few I of. I love her tattoo. And they're really fun, but they, they don't look get enough attention. Badass. These kind of bald plume ladies are a whole group of pariahs or also known as blanks. We'll be referring to them as blanks from now on. So as every Blank? mind is somewhat connected to the warp, these blanks are a genetic mutation oh. that it has it suppressed heavily. Because of that mind suppression, normal people feel this weird, like uncomfortable nature when around them. When a I sister of it. silence walks past them, you feel ill. You feel just uncomfortable and strange. So Ooh. most of them don't actually live past childhood because once they are birthed, they're, well, you know, killed. Yeah. or something at a very young age yeah, because I they just emit that. a horrifying aura. These ladies, oh. however, are guardians of the throne as well for more psychic threats. See, none of the custodians are psychers, so they have a difficult time dealing with major demons. So the emperor has his anti-magic in these girls, and he has his anti-physical in the custodies. That's really such a cool and other power. Kinds of psychic phenomena. These sisters are extremely specialized in it. All of them I love taking that. a vow of silence as they don't speak, hence the term such as a silence, but they communicate through hand gestures and things mm. of that nature. But if there's a demon issue, if there's any kind of warp based problem, the They're sisters there. are extremely adept at dealing with them. Thanks to their blank gene. In their presence, the laws of normal space are enforced. Your soul is cut off from the warp. Both kinds it feels of so wrong to be able to feel. On the tabletop. In fact, Ooh. they only have like one real model form, which is very unfortunate. I hope yeah, I wish they'd really expand them more. I but think they should really be working together. That, is, that would be so cool if the they war. expanded but them a bit we'll more. There soon. But if we're talking about blanks. Necrons collect them to make a new type of better Necron. Oh, I've never seen these guys. Hold on. I have never seen Officio Assassinorum. I've never, ever seen these guys before. It's been a long video. We're about to round it out. We got this and one more human thing, and then we're done. I've the never assassins, seen them though, before. The Officio Assassinorum. Oh, boy. You're not supposed these to see them, Matara. They're deadly. Yeah, they're called assassins. They should be. But, oh, man. These people will mess you up. 
So these are I from love the it. Officio Assassinorum, a very okay. special organization, and they are handpicked by the Grand Master of the Officio Assassinorum mm -hmm. from the, shit, what was it called? Scola Progenium. Okay. It's basically an orphan school. If your parents got <laughs> murdered by demons or something, you get sent to this and you get trained to be whatever. Uh, Tempestus Drop Troop, uh, an Inquisitor maybe even. Uh, maybe you get a uh, blank oh gene and you get thrown into the Sisters of Silence. Or sometimes you just disappear. When oh. you are taken, however, you go to one of four temples because okay. the Assassin Norm works in a temple style of things. Each, these temples yeah, it are is Harry the Potter in space. Caluxus, Calidus, <laughs> and Eversort. I wonder if they have a sorting temples. hat. Start with the Vindicare. I'm, I'm far done. away. I've been sitting here for three weeks. Poof! The Vindicare Temple is the main sniper-based temple. I love Gigantic it. Gigantic sniper rifles for all these assassins. Their whole point is to be able to be in a spot and sit there, eye and scope, for weeks, waiting for their perfect target. I love it. people out from literal miles away. Hey, sometimes away you need, you need an assassin, right? After extremely long time periods. The Vindicare Temple is about precise, perfect aim. There have been reports of Vindicares being able to single out particular body parts from over two, three miles away. Temples There's a really cool fat pic about these the guys called Can Love instance, Bloom on the battlefield. There after weeks. I'll have to when check it ready, out. Take that shot. Time is done. Packs them up. The Calidus Temple, however, Ooh. is a lot more about shape-shifting and um, deviant art. It's mostly a female-based one, uh, at least it seems to be, and this allows a lot abs. of body augmentation for certain individuals maybe, to be able maybe I to do like, like transmorph women. themselves and uh, infiltrate areas that are problems. These oh assassins will end up taking missions that take them years, two, three years, to infiltrate a heretical group and slowly work their way up just She's to get shape enough time those to pull Stop. a bullet They're into real the to main me. target's head and then escape unharmed. They're real or to me, her ass. Or become the main target and sat This looks like it could come from Metal Gear. Am I right? Like this right here, if you showed this to me and said this is a villain in Metal Gear Solid, I'd believe you. I would believe you she is from Metal Gear Solid. She looks like a Metal Gear boss. She really does. Okay, can we please not talk about Psycho Mantis? When I played Metal Gear, I thought that... I don't know, it wasn't like... I remember there was a character that I, I like... It wasn't Psycho Mantis. It was like one character they said it had like the power to shapeshift. Spoiler for Metal Gear Solid. And then I kept looking... Decoy Octopus was his name. And I kept looking for him everywhere. No spoilers for Metal Gear Solid 1. Play it, but... Yeah. So then when I, when I hear the word Psycho Mantis, I think of Decoy Octopus as well. Sabotage it from within. These are all she completely looks about- Amazing. I need, if this is a figurine right there, if this is a poster, I need her. Deception, this mind tricks, so good. polymorphing, and everything in between. And uh, lots of drawings. She has a lot. <laughs> the Eversore Temple. Oh, that looks nice. Just kind of disturbing one. The Eversore Temple is about when you don't want anything to come I back did, alive, friend, or foe. I did, Artesia. I really did. Dead. And Eversore is psychogenically conditioned with just <gasps> psychotherapy okay, I love his and psychological nails. torture to only his nails? feel violence, hatred, and anger. It does the clockwork orange style of thing of just making you forced to watch never-ending pain and misery and, and psycho conditioning. I guess is yeah, the but time. his nail. And then they pump you full of tons of psychedelic drugs, and they cryo freeze you. Oh. And then they drop you in an area where they just want to make sure everything is dead. And oh. then you defrost, full of just all this insane, mind-boggling psychotherapy and and psychedelic drugs. Well, and you just go to town. Yeah. Free if you, drugs. You don't care if anyone comes back alive. You're like, all right. Lost cause, right? send them in. Finally, there's the most bizarre temple, the Caluxus Temple. Okay. The Caluxus assassins are feared even among the other temples. Ooh. So that blank gene, the people will go to the Caluxus Temple with this as well. Oh. And this is where they can harness that to be massively anti-psyker or even just oh anti my goodness! They're seen with extreme fear 
and uh, distrust among many, many I can't believe people. I've never They're heard of this. Like I was Eldar kind of, I knew, quote, I knew kind of a bit about everything else a little bit, but I had no idea about these guys whatsoever. As being pure evil. Imagine that no uncomfortable idea. feeling from that blank gene I mentioned, and then imagine them being taught and given. So wait, just so we're clear, these are not void born, right? Because of the of the smell of the hat. These are Tau Empire. What are these? This is Tau. Okay, I was right. I thought they maybe were a uh, void born because at first they had the blue skin, but then. I recognize that they're Tau. Mm -hmm. If normally regular people feel uncomfortable, now they are basically akin to being a siren wailing directly in your ear. And if you're a psyker... Yeah, that makes sense oh that no. assassins the aren't that popular. The presence of a Klux assassin is enough for you to tear your skin off. If you there was all assassinations, there wouldn't be a war. And rip your as nails much. off than know. even Wouldn't being they? near this person. The Klux assassin is when you want psychers to literally lose their minds and they will go on their knees and ask you to gun them down because it is a suitable choice over being anywhere near you. Oh the model God. of that temple is that which is unknown and unseen commands the greatest fear. Now, yeah, for the tabletop, guess... assassins aren't that <laughs> special. You can. Okay. I'm sorry. Look at the one on the left, how goofy he looks. I love him. Look at his goofy little eyes. I really, really love the way the girl assassin looks, though. She looks incredible. And I really love the one on the left. <laughs> he looks so funny. <laughs> he looks so funny. The one on the left. No, not Bricky. The one under Bricky. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, the one on the left, love it. Also, like, why do they give him I'm sorry. Okay, not to I'm not trying to look there, but like, why do they give him such a big bulge? I'm just look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to look on purpose, but really? Really? It's armor thick, but it's like extra thick. It's like, wow. <laughs> what do you even fit in there? <laughs> you know, what do you even fit in there? I don't want to know. I don't even want to know. Also, I love how the, how the model on the right, the girl, she has like the, the blade coming out of her gloves. Kind of like um, the assassins in uh, Ragnarok Online. I love that. And the chain behind her, she looks great. I, I need that figurine for sure. Can call I need them that in, model. No matter what I need Imperium it. faction you are. And they do a lot of work for themselves. But at the same time, they're very specialized and require a lot of finesse. And they yeah, exactly. The it's kind of like a guitar. Mm -hmm. You want to cause some distortion and weird stuff, you take a Calidus. It's a staunch you just base sword. Nice. Of infantry and yeah, I played a lot of Ragnarok sword. online. You want to kill that one guy, might... Vindicare, and if you have a lot of Psykers, Kaluxus. It's a nice little, like, jack-of-all-trades if you have a Good luck getting you them. Want to kill. And you get to choose which, which is really fun. But Can't I sign up to be on the waiting list? You know what I can do? I can go to the stores and get to know the people and be like, if you ever get it, Give it to me. Now, These models all let's are talk rare. about the last human faction we can round. I have the ultimate superpower. Money. Your money. <laughs> I have your money to spend. This video out before we do part I two. I can just buy them. The Inquisition. And we have a lot to talk about with them. Oh, oh tell me about the Inquisition. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, boy. Where do I even begin I'm with ready. the Inquisition? Take, take every secret police you can think of. Thank you, uh, The Inca. KGB, the Gestapo, the CIA, FBI, any of these kinds of people. And then mark it up by about 10. Ooh, not the witch hunter aesthetic. <gasps> not the witch hunter, sorry. Uh, what is it? Demon hunter in, in Diablo, but also like witch doctor with the hat. This is like Demon Hunter kind of more of an aesthetic than Witch Hunter. Sorry. It looks and amazing. And give them the most power in the entire Imperium. No, You know what? How about this? this I only said this right um, here, Witch Doctor because of the, the quote, hat. Right? This is the Imperial motto 
the motto of the Inquisition. I love I it. I apologize for my bad pronunciation. Innocentia nihil probat. Innocence <laughs> proves nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! What a badass line! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. Just this line goes insanely hard. Oh my goodness. The most powerful organization. These are the good guys, by the in way. The, Imperium, <laughs> the secret oh police. God. Their number one motto is innocence. Innocence proves, proves nothing. Nothing. The Inquisition that goes around like the secret police or like detectives <gasps> to find. Oh my God. My fraud, my bank detected that when I bought the YouTube, I bought YouTube premium to watch this video so that I wouldn't skip the ads. Sorry, Bricky. I love you. You're getting your money. And my bank texted me saying that they thought it was fraud. Please confirm today's activity on my credit card for Google service. I was like, wait, Google services, but it, it's the, the premium in the Imperium. And they had different oh ordos depending on which one we're talking I about. I love the it. Ordo Hereticus, the Ordo Xenos. Wait, uh, ordo women. Those depending on which one we're talking about. The Ordo Hereticus. Looks okay. Kiss the Ordo Xenos. Her. She looks great. Xenos, uh, the Ordo Malleus, for instance, and a whole bunch of other ones. Hereticus is obvious. They deal with heretics. Xenos tries to find alien threats, and Malleus is demons. Wow. They all have different specializations Women? in what they're trying to go for as this. That's Elizabeth from Bioshock. They all have to deal with heretics. Uh, the Xenos tries. A little to find bit. Alien threats a little and bit. Is a little demons. bit. A little bit. They all have different specializations. Bring back in the what girl and wipe away the debt. Inquisitor. And that's what they're called, Inquisitors. Each of them, as an Inquisitor, has <gasps> their own the free reign to do as they wish. They may have a ship and a crew, and they go out to find problems and interrogate people a lot. Interrogate. They are above the huh. law in every Interrogate, department. huh? Over Space Marines. Now, the Space Marines might argue against them and stuff, and there might be a lot of blowback, but technically they also, are above them. Also, the fact that they just have a cathedral floating in space. They are looking to investigate How cool and is figure that? out coups and cults and demonic incursions and possible Xenos issues like gene stealers or a new uh, threat coming into an area. They're about learning that stuff. Maybe we'll read those on uh, Book Club. Aside, Eisenhorn and Raven Orb. The Inquisition book. having all we'll of this there. power does make them a little bit power hungry and frantic sometimes. And yes, it is still a bad thing, but most of them are pretty good at their job. And they spend a lot of time being very she looks diligent great. to make she sure. She kind of looks like my character in Rogue Trader, doesn't she? Minus all the armor. All of these leads they follow are proper and correct. A little bit. She looks like my portrait and my character with, with the JoJo hair. Power and sometimes a bit of a power complex. And we haven't I even love talked it. about Exterminatus yet. Exterminatus. Exterminatus is deeming a planet unfit to be saved. I deem <laughs> that this planet is demon infested. Hey, it has the and word. taking it back will cost too many resources and is <laughs> Exterminate not Exterminate. I have now it. committed uh -oh. Exterminatus on this planet. Ooh. I will now sign the death warrant oh of an God. entire Imperium oh planet as it is unfit God. to take and better to be destroyed than allow the enemy to hold it. This can mean saturation bombardment. This can mean cracking the planet's core and breaking oh it apart. God. Doesn't matter. Render this planet They just planet break the planet. Like, you know what? We're done with life. this planet. Let's yes, break it. The innocence proves nothing people are the only people who can choose this planet must die in its entirety. Yeah. You're playing the villain. <laughs> now it is memed a lot, but most Inquisitors are very rare. There was one Inquisitor judge that said, no one is, is innocent in this court thing. Only because so you're guilty of wasting my time. You don't want to destroy all of them. Uh, Absolutely banger line. With the memes aside, that. there are some people who are a little bit rough on this one. <clears throat> <clears throat> But most Inquisitors generally don't like to do Exterminatus a ton, but it is an option they have. Wait, is there actually somebody named Karamazov in 
<laughs> Secret police inquisition in this are universe? unfortunately not represented on the tabletop very I much. I only know the book you Brothers kind of put one in your army if you feel like it. You have a couple okay. special options there and some side content. But she they're looks not really, really fleshed cool. out very I love well it. and personally they need a lot more stuff put in there and they they really need a lot more effort put into them. And they're not quite Yes, it is I a reference to, to who be. you think it Overall, is. Overall the Inquisition makes for a lot My of My inner book nerd is smiling well, because it's a little bit hard to talk outwardly. about a big story of a whole bunch of space marines killing something. Right, it's just a big facts. battle story. It's not, not to be confused with Grey Fox. Having that intrigue and that moral dilemma that an Inquisitor has makes for a lot better media. And honestly, the more people do it, I think it's better because then it adds a little more humanity to the Warhammer horrible, horrible grim darkness. And wow, we Kuzer just Kripman is known humans. for sentencing right, multiple worlds to extermination to try and curb and the calming of a Tyranid We fleet. got to talk about the four chaos oh, yeah. gods and all the yes. chaos Yes, oh my god, I need part two. And the Tau and the Listen, Necrons Listen, humans are fun, and, oh boy, but we got it's a lot. humans. I did not I'll come part to the future Warhammer of everything. Also, I love the Mechanicus music there. I didn't come to the future to love and find out about humans. First of all, I just want to say again, Bricky, thank you so much for letting me react to this video and letting me upload my reaction to YouTube. I'm going to give him a shout out again. If you do see Bricky on either the Twitch or YouTube, please give him a follow. Check out his content. He's been playing Rogue Trader lately. Um, other than that, let's talk about some of the stuff we saw in this video. So I feel like I know quite a, a lot, you know, a lot is, I know a little bit about a lot in Warhammer because I've been playing the games. I've been reading the books. I've been talking to you about it. But the fact that I had no idea about the Assassinorum at all, at all, at all, oh my God, not the big butt. The fact that I need or this poster in my bedroom, I need it. This is so Metal Gear coded. I love it. I love it. I love her. I love this. Um, definitely also found out more differences between um, the Sisters of Battle. The Sisters of Silence is new to me as well. The Sisters of Silence was really fun to find out about. Kind of learning a little bit more. I, I really did kind of assume that all of the space marines were always just kind of blue colored. I didn't really realize that every single Primarch has his own space marines. I also didn't realize that the space marines were technically descendant of the emperor. Um, also, learning more about the Grey Knights and learning more about, I already kind of started knowing more about Sisters of Battle. I already know about Adeptus, of course. Good video. Good video, really, really interesting. Uh, learned a lot, paused a lot, you know. <laughs> but I'm very excited for part two.